a tfwire.com video review. How you doing, gang? This is Spada coming at you with a review of Deluxe Animated Black Arachnia. She is the only character thus far in the line of the Transformers Animated line that is not a vehicle. She is a techno-organic spider thingy. Kind of ugly. In fact, very ugly. Got uh, eight legs. Problems in this mode are, one, hi, robot head and spider ass. Two, um, I'm pretty sure in spider mode you can't see robot hands in the show. Uh, three, transforming it, these mandibles pop off all the time. Four, she's kind of ugly. It, it's not a very, it's not a particularly good mode or fun mode. Um, it also has this retractable claw, which pops off with just a little bit of force. And if you're listening to one of the TFR podcasts recently, Ryan or Jesse said that once you do the retraction, the thing, the butt falls off and watch. Fell right off. As soon as, uh, as soon as it hits, the thing falls off. So this is the claw can be used in robot or spider mode. It's kind of pointless. Doesn't really do much other than retract. And it's kind of ugly, honestly. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here to show you the transformation. Now, in, in bug mode, she's actually not that big. I mean, she's only that wide. And here's Ratchet. It looks, they look about comparable, but you have to realize, the legs take up a lot of room, and they're going to get condensed down. So let's go ahead and get her transformed. First thing we're going to do is just kind of lift these up out of the way and move these back legs down thusly. I'm going to take them, pull them forward. I found pulling these forward and then rotating them works best. Now there are little pegs that the plastic bits connect to on the legs here, right here. There are little pegs that keep them in place, but I found that the pegs don't really go that deep and aren't really that sturdy. And then what you could do is you can open up the legs like this, for, like this, for uh, added stability, kind of like an uber high heel. I found that that works best. Next, we're gonna just take the entire butt of the figure and kind of open it up. You know, forgive me. I can't ah there we go. Then we're gonna just lift this head through and that will by lifting the head through the thor through the uh, abdomen that frees up the entire torso to rotate forward. Now the mandibles are tricky because these things pop off at the slightest provocation. So I am being very, very careful with them, just getting them out of the way. So we're gonna rotate the head like that. We're gonna take these and rotate them around like this. So then we can put them forward up on our back. So just rotate them around and then fold them in towards her back thusly. Take the arms and rotate the spikes around like that, and I'm still futzing with the mandibles, sorry. So I can never remember how they go, but they're so fragile, they just pop off so easily, like that. And then they are a rather, rather five-letter five word to get back on. All right, so the mandibles aren't totally right right now. I don't care because they're just too much of a pain to deal with sometimes. In this mode, uh, same colors, more of concentration of the gold, as you can see. Uh, one cool thing is these things rotate forward. Like, she could stab in the show, like you see her doing quite a bit in Black Friday, which just aired here in the U.S., by the way. Um, she's not that big. Let me show you next to Soundwave. I mean, she's even bigger than Soundwave, which 
kind of sad considering how big he is. But here's a Prowl. I mean, he's a full head higher than she is. But oddly enough, she's the same height as Bulkhead and Lugnut. Go figure. In this mode, she can have this. You can put it on her back. She can hold it in her hand. Like that. Still, it's weak as a weapon. I mean, just very, very weak. She looks good in robot mode. She just looks tiny. Like, supermodel needs sandwich tiny. Um, I wouldn't say avoid her, but there are plenty of other figures that you can get that are much better. Soundwave, um, Ratchet, Prowl, just to name a few. In fact, out of all the deluxes, she's not my least favorite, but there are plenty of other better figures. She's not bad by any means. She is much better than, say, Voyager or Deluxe Megatron. But still, she's not the best figure. In fact, I see her as a peg warmer. She's on the pegs more than any other figure out there. So honestly, if you have to, go ahead and pick it up. But there are some problems. I've already had to do the Jin Satome trick with all of her joints. Um, all of her ball joints were very, very loose. All of her pin joints, I actually had to hammer out some of them with uh, some modeling tools. And then just, they were so, they weren't loose, they were tight. So I had to go in and sand out these little holes in her legs because these things, I couldn't move them. So I've had to do a lot of extra work to this figure to get her to where I want her to be. But also she's very difficult to stand sometimes. I'm surprised she's standing now. Considering she's only got three legs on three of her bits on the ground. But she's not bad per se. She's just not a very strong or interesting figure. Catch you next time.